This episode is brought to you in part by Hybrid Light. Durable, environmentally friendly, and guaranteed for life. Visit hybridlight.com. And Sheffield Financial. Specialized equipment financing for work, play, and everything in between. Visit sheffieldfinancial.com. What's up, Gary? Man, appreciate you taking us out this morning. Folks, we're here yep. with Steve Coleman. Steve is half of the greatest crappie duo that's ever lived, Steve Coleman, Ronnie Caps. They've won more crappie fishing contests and tournaments than any other team of uh, anglers on the planet. And that's, uh, I mean, I don't know how much y'all have won in your careers, but it's been Man, a it's just, we just love to fish. I mean, you know, yeah. all the tournaments and everything, that's just extra. You know, well, so. Steve and Ronnie both are our Hall of Fame members with Legends Outdoors, and I'm just tickled to death to get to share the boat with him. Him and I have been in the boat together a couple of times. This past spring, we just wore the big old bluegill yep. out here on Real Foot, and now we're going to go see if we can catch some crappie. So stick with us, and we'll see you out on the water. 5 a.m. can't come soon enough for folks like these. There's more than just a job to do, so they hit their knees. They sure take pride in everything they do and There's no challenge that they won't work through So they tirelessly keep going on They work their fingers to the bone They spend way too much time in the field and away from home You can be sure they Legends, legends of the outdoors. what we're doing today is we're fishing with Steve Coleman out here. Steve and his partner Ronnie Caps have won more tournaments than any other pair of guys on the planet as I said earlier today. And we're fishing out here. He's watching the this uh, Garmin and we're watching what's going on right out in front of us underneath the water. He can see the fish. He's going to pull right up there and drop it right on top of him and see if we can get one to bite. Steve, while you're doing that, what was the first tournament that you and Ronnie ever won? Can you remember it? You know, it had to be an old crappie thon tournament back then. I think it was called a, it, it was, it wasn't a crappie tournament. It was crappie, bluegill, and bass. Yeah. You could either, either one, and we got the crappie fishing there. And, uh, hey, to us, it was pretty easy, because that's, you know, that's what we was doing back then. Right. But I remember in them early years, I'd be out here on the, the roughest weather. You know, I'm talking about like at eight, nine years old. Yeah. And uh, all your older gentlemen out here fishing, and, and my competition was catching as many fish as they, as they did. And, yeah. And it didn't take long. <clears throat> Just having that drive. You guys won a couple of tournaments over there while I was the tournament, or while I was the director, and you know, two or three other guys thought that they had already won the tournament. And, here you and Ronnie come, and man, y'all had a sack full of crappie. I mean, big ones, and y'all stayed out there all day in that rough water, close to the power lines, I believe, and, and uh, We did, and I remember that. Y'all caught them, and you won a lot more since then. You see that fish on the side of that stump right I there? I see it. All right, you've got a long fish. You see how long he right. is? All right, that's gonna be your gar sitting. And the crappie's sitting right under him. Well, we're gonna try to get you below the gar this boat settle in. And a lot of them are, are, are smaller fish. It's, it's more or less your fry. And if you can't see your hook on that screen, you're off. You see him come off stump? Uh-huh. He's gonna bite it. Come on. There he comes, there he comes. There I see him? Uh-huh. Come on. Got him. All right. 
Not a big one, but we talked him into it. <laughs> we talked him into it, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, that's totally amazing. We're out here with this technology that uh, uh, where you can use to find these fish. Steve called that shot. He he could see the minnow and the, and the weight and everything, see the fish, watch that fish. We watched that fish come up and take that bait. And there he was, supper. If he'd have been if he'd have been long enough, right? Yep. He's about he's about ten inches long. Yep. Let's so. go. Let's go find a big one. All right, Steve said, let's go find a big one. Hey, stick with us. We'll be right back after this. We'll get on another Real Foot Lake Crappie with Steve Coleman. Tired of pushing that old lawnmower? Don't go another season without the equipment you need to do the jobs that are important to you. At Sheffield Financial, we specialize in helping our customers get what they need. The easy application and fast approval process makes financing your outdoor power equipment easy. Don't go another season without the equipment you need. Check out SheffieldFinancial.com today. Man, we've got two of the most wonderful people here with us. We really do. Terry Peterson and his daughter Cheyenne. Of course, two of my favorite lights is the hat light that you're wearing right. and this mammoth light right here. Uh, now there's something special about this light. Well, everything is a lifetime guarantee and never replace a battery, never buy a battery again. And they're solar powered. It also has the USB ports that are in and out. So you can put power in with your cell phone charger and also then it's a power bank to charge your cell phone. These are the best quality ingredients to get the best product out of it. This segment is brought to you in part by Mossy Oak. No one knows hunters like Mossy Oak. Visit mossyoak.com. And Frog Togs. Breathable, affordable, and lightweight. Visit frogtogs.com. I see there's three or four fish on that one stump right there. If you didn't hear us talking about it in a previous episode, Riffoot Lake was formed by an earthquake in December of 1811 and January and February of 1812. And so all these stumps are all cypress trees here. The earthquake hit and it caused this piece of land to sink. Mississippi River run backwards for several days and filled up this low lying area caused all this timber to fall and all these stumps are still here it's been here for over 200 years hasn't it Steve? some of these stumps like you said it's been 200 years ago and some of these trees are five six hundred years old it's in here yeah so this lake's been here a long time there's been a many indians walk down through here <laughs> yeah i think about that all the time you oh, know yeah. it's what it used to be like yeah uh, before the before the settlers came and the, uh, the indians were all here uh, you know, this this land has always been full of deer and turkeys and squirrels and rabbits, and quail. Got him. <laughs> I used four on that one stump. They put none of them by. That's a little better fish there. Yeah, that's a good fish. No net. No net. Look at that. That is a good real foot lake crop. Hold him up there for the audience. What do you think about that? That's a nice fish. Boy, he's pretty. You know, the only way yep. that fish right there would be any prettier, Steve, is if he had a little bit of white beans and some cold oh, slaw around him. Don't make me hunger. <laughs> <laughs> to be consistent on catching those fish, you got to fish quite often to yep. keep up what's going on. Yeah. Uh, you can't expect just to go out there any day and just, just wear them out. No, you know? you're right. You spend right. two or three days on the water, it gets better every single day. Every single day. Well, you right. learn every day and you learn what those fish are doing. And I think to be a good guide and to uh, get paid for fishing, you've got to be on the water all the time, just like you're talking about, because you've got to stay with those fish. The, the pressure, the atmospheric pressure, the kind of day it is, the current, wind, and everything relates to how those crappie act and where they're at. 
I just like the day, you know. It's, it's an overcast day, got low pressure right now, and I can tell that they're acting just a little bit different today. Mm -hmm. National champions many times over, crappie fishing champions. Steve, I got to ask you, I know you grew up here at Ripley Lake, and this is your favorite lake of all time, but you fish some other lakes. What's your favorite besides Real Foot? Real Foot's are my home lake. Uh, but, you know, we fished Kentucky Lake for many, many years. Won a lot of tournaments off Kentucky Lake. For numbers-wise uh, and structure, Kentucky Lake would probably be a good one. You know, third, maybe Grenada Lake down in Mississippi. Yeah. You know, it's full of big, giant fish, which all your southern lakes are. But day in and day out, Real Foot, Kentucky Lake, that's, you know, that's my home ground. That's a good one. We just kind of that. moved around and Steve seen that fish down there near the bottom and put that minnow right on his nose and caught it. That's one of them 180s right there. Yeah, that is a good one. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Real foot lake crappie, folks. It don't get any better than this. Hold that now, fish What do you think there. about that one? Whew. Huh? Man, that is a nice one. That's a good Danny. Well, I'll tell you what, man had three of those, he'd have supper tonight. He's gonna be right at two pounds. I'm gonna say about a 192 or something like that. I bet so, you're not far from yeah, long. Yeah, he look, he's, he's thick in the back. He's long, what is 14 inches long. Yeah, yeah, good healthy crappie. Right. Man, he's, uh, that's that's a fine fish. Let's put him back in the water before yep. uh, before he uh, there you go. gets hurt. I'm gonna turn him loose right here. Uh, Ooh, what a fish. All right. Folks, you just got to see the reason that Steve Cohen is one of the nation's top touring crappie fishing pros. For Real Foot Lake, him and Ronnie Cass have won more tournaments than any other pair of tournament anglers. They've been partners since they was kids. And I tell you what, if you fished a tournament on any lake in this country and these two guys was there, you know you had to beat them in order to win a tournament. Easy now, come on now. Right. Easy That's now. Right. I did see a change in the, in the fish themselves and the way they were relating to cover and where they were going where they were spending their time, and you just had to get out and find them. They were still there. While Steve's tying on, we're going to cut to a commercial break, and we'll be right back, maybe catch another Real Foot Lake slab. Hey folks, I want to tell you about a brand new reel and gun oil created by my friend Jeff Milam called 80 Blow. Jeff, tell me a little bit about the product. 80 Blow is a product that's built to really withstand mother nature. Anything it throws at it, minus 80 degrees on the cold side and uh, up to 465 high side. Really, if you like to uh, hunt cold weather or fish in cold weather, it's an excellent product. 80 Blow gun and reel oil. You gotta have this if you hunt and fish. Hey, Abby, I want to tell you about a really neat contest that we're running on Legends of the Outdoors TV for our sponsor, Hybrid Lights. Anyone that's watching our show after episode six can go on hybridlight.com and say, I seen the light or I found the light. Yeah. Every episode, we're going to have a hybrid light somewhere in that episode. And when you see it, you click on hybridlight.com and tell them that you've seen the light and where you've seen it at. And that will automatically put you in for a contest where one winner will win a great box full of hybrid light products. Wow, whoever wins is lucky. <laughs> they are lucky, and I tell you what, this is some of the neat products. You can charge your phone with these. Wow. They charge, most of their products charged by solar or through a, plugging them into the wall through a USB port or just a straight plug. So hybridlights.com, click on it and find out all about the Legends of the Outdoor TV. I found the light. This segment is brought to you in part by b and Poles the leading crappie pole in the world. Visit bnmpoles.com. And Vortex Optics. Life happens, which is why Vortex products come with an unlimited lifetime warranty. Visit vortexoptics.com.
Hey folks, I want you to see exactly what we're looking at here, uh, what Steve's looking at as he's fishing for these crappie here on Real Foot Lake. He's looking at this Garmin live scope, watching those fish, watching them come down. He's dropping that minnow right down on top of them and watching them come out and bite it. Sets the hook and he's got one. Caught several nice crappie here today. And uh, so I want the audience to see exactly what he's doing. Steve, explain a little bit about what's going on right there. Well, you're looking at all the trees that's under us right now. Uh, there's a fish right here on the bottom. And I'm gonna say he's a crop. I'm gonna drop a hook right on top of his head. All right. There's one just grabbed you. See him? Yeah, he See got him? It. See he him got on the screen? Yeah. See him going around the screen there? <laughs> he got it. Man. Let's see what it looks like. He would have been a good one for the grease right there. Yeah. About 11 inch fish, something like that. Yeah, you had it on his head forever, but he finally bit it. Man, beautiful fish. That's kind of eat right there. Yes, sir. Let them big girls yeah. go yep. and eat them right there. Fillet that nut. Still two down there. Just like I said, let's catch another one. All right. There comes your bait. Yeah, he's, he's looking at you it. You see the bait come right there, uh, right yeah. across his top of his head. Yep. And he's either going to turn around or he's going to swim off. You can't see that fish because he's going away from us. Right. It's, it's why he disappears in there. Got to find him. He's on his right there. He's, he's going to come closer to us. Drop him straight on his head. See him shining down there uh -huh. now? I can get that hook to fall right there. Got him. <laughs> oh, me. Uh oh, he's around the stump. He just around the stump, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's a nice one. Come here, buddy. But you see how close to the bottom he was? Man, yeah, he was right there on the bottom. That's not a bad one. Another nice real foot lake crappie. I'm going to show you something. All right. You see where I got him hooked in? <clears throat> yeah. He's been he's caught been before. He's been caught before, Yep. He's been caught before. But he was on that stump right there. So I'm going to throw him out in front of the boat. Let's see if we can see him swim. Ready to go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Look See? Right there. He said, whew, got me a minute of snack <laughs> and I'm going back. He's going to go down there and tell all of his buddies, do not bite that. Yeah, don't bite that. It's a trick. It's a trick. There's two big ugly guys up there in the boat. Hey, folks, you might wonder why I'm not fishing today. I'm actually wanting to learn from Steve. This has been a great experience for me because I've been around these units for a couple of times, a couple of fishing trips, but I wanted to learn from the master. This guy knows what he's doing, and I've learned a lot already just watching him and listening to him, uh, and it's been a great experience. Steve, tell you what, buddy, let's go catch one more. Okay. And then go in and eat lunch. What do you think? Let's go. B and M makes a 20, 25 foot pole now. Uh, part of this one is a B and M pole. Uh, you know, it's the, their their tips that they use on the B and M poles are the best it is. Which I fish with a 16 foot BGJP most of the time. And the only reason I'm fishing with this pole today is kind of it's uh, I got that heavy weight on it, and it's it does pretty good in the, in the wind. I can keep it down there. Yeah. And the fish are just a little bit further out. The closer you get, the more spooky they get. They want to run off on you. Uh, and with that longer pole, when they get like that, I, I, I can catch a lot more fish with a long pole. Out the right front corner there, about 20 feet. Let's get over here and see if we can't catch it. See that one's going to swim off on us uh -huh. right there? He's on the bottom. Let's go out there and get him. Come on for the most part when they're going into the spawning grounds or coming back out they travel those migratory highways and they stage up and they feed and if you can learn those staging areas up anywhere there's a little break in the current you know where they're sitting waiting for a food source to come around to them hey you got him <laughs> hey. you had him yeah i seen him actually come up when you seen that up, yeah you, you had him for just a minute well i was kind of spun feeding him but i was letting him take it i shouldn't have done that i should have <laughs> went ahead and got him on in there yeah you missed that last one, but you know you can't catch them all. Yeah, you know, you're gonna miss some of them, but you know, we, we did catch some good fish today. Oh, you know? we did. We, we caught sure some of the did. best ones real foot has to offer us, you know. A two pound on real foot is a good fish. It so, is a great fish. Uh, I think we've had a good day. Oh, absolutely, man. Let's go back in and eat some lunch over there at Blue Bank Resort. 
And uh, we'll be right back with Steve Coleman after these messages. Tired of pushing that old lawnmower? Don't go another season without the equipment you need to do the jobs that are important to you. At Sheffield Financial, we specialize in helping our customers get what they need. The easy application and fast approval process makes financing your outdoor power equipment easy. Don't go another season without the equipment you need. Check out SheffieldFinancial.com today. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a brand new product created by my friend Steve Mosley. Steve, BioProGreen was created by you. Tell us a little bit about what it does and why. BioProGreen is made from a specialized group of products that helps enhance your food plot. It increases the protein, it increases the biomass, and it will help draw wildlife to your food plot. BioProGreen will enhance your food plots and help bring wildlife to your property. segment is brought to you in part by Paris Henry County Chamber of Commerce. For more information, visit parisTNchamber.com. And Mossberg. Safety and safe firearm handling is everyone's responsibility. Visit Mossberg.com. Well, hey, Steve, what a great day on the water, man. Realfoot Lake is just spectacular. I know this has been your lifetime home, but for me getting to come over here, it's really something special. And I just really appreciate you taking us out and, and showing us about that unit on your boat and everything. So thank you so much. Hey, you know, it's uh, to me, it's anything, you know, to promote what we're doing. You know, I'm glad to take anybody out on real foot. Uh, had a real good day, you know, it's so. Uh, yeah, well, I learned a lot from you and uh, I can't wait to come back and share some more time in the boat with you. We always have a great time when we're together. I remember last May when you carried us out bluegill fishing and uh, me and a couple of friends of mine, and we just had a ball. We caught a ton of fish. And, you know, if somebody had come by and seen all four of us out there giggling like a bunch of high school teenagers, they'd have wondered what in the world we was doing. But we were catching them big old bluegill and throwing them in the cooler. And there was times when we had four on. Y'all had a real good time on, on, on that trip and caught some big bluegill. Yes, we caught did. Caught a bunch of them. Uh, but like you said, Real Foot Lake has, it's the scenery in it. I mean, it's beautiful. It's full of fish. I mean, it's just, it's a place to be, you know. Of all the lakes I've ever been to, it's, you know, it's home. You yeah. know, it's, yeah. that's, that's where I'd rather be. Real Foot Lake is actually the birthplace of, you know, some of your best fishermen in the country, you know. Yeah. One of the things about Real Foot Lake is the, is the ecosystem here with with everything you can see. I mean, I'd like to just take a kayak and just kayak down the shoreline, you know, and come and enjoy several days on Real Foot Lake. I promise you, if, you, if you've not been here and you ever come one time, you'll come back many times. If you, you talk about the scenery at Real Foot Lake, what's here? You know, you see the lily pads, the trees and all that. But after looking at that forward facing sonar, it gives you a different picture of what Real Foot Lake actually looks yeah. like because you see all the trees under the water. Yeah. yeah. You know, we had a drawdown back in the early 80s and that's when I really paid attention to what it really looked like. Yeah. You know, I, I can sit right here and look at you and I, I know where all the old sloughs and the old shorelines were and the old swamps were. You know, it's, it, it paints a picture in your mind and, you know, and as a guide and a fisherman, you know, when you get out on it, like it's, it puts you in those places, you know. You're not right. just out in the open water, you're, you're there where 
that old picture was. Yeah, you know, we talked about it a little bit while we were out there, and I know you remember very well a few years ago when the lake was down a little bit, mm -hmm. and you could look out there and see the tops of all those trees, which it looked like stumps to all of us, but you know, that was 10, 15 foot of water that those trees are all still standing in. Exactly. And, uh, it was really something to see when the lake was down a couple of foot and get to see those treetops. Well, once again, Steve, thank you so very much to, uh, for having us over here at Real Foot Lake and getting to fish with you today has been a true honor. Uh, folks, once again, we're sharing time with Steve Coleman of Real Foot Lake, one of the best guides that I know and also one of the best crappie fishermen that ever put a melon in the water or a crappie jig. Steve, thank you so Man. much. Appreciate and you. It's been a pleasure. I can't wait for bluegill season to get here when we can get back out and catch a bunch more of them big black real foot lake We're bluegill. going, buddy. We're going. All right, yeah. man. Thank you much. Appreciate you. Folks, until next time, it's Legends of the Outdoors TV. I'm here with Steve Coleman, Real Foot Lake Blue Bank Resort. Man, look at here, Steve. Oh, Lord. Mercy sakes. That's always good after a good day fishing. Isn't it? Oh, yes, it sure is. This lady has brought us something. And I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to say a word of, and bless the food for Yes, us. sir. Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight. Lord, we just thank you for this food. We thank you for all that we've gotten to do. We thank you for Steve, Lord. And, and Lord, most of all, we thank you for this beautiful lake and this place that you've allowed us to come to. Lord, we ask that you use this food to nourish our bodies. In your precious name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. This is a legendary place, Abby, and it I can't is. believe that we've been here. We've shot several episodes of Legends of Outdoors TV here. Kind of sad in a way to have to leave, but you know, know what? We'll be back. Feels like we just got here. I know, <laughs> that's the way it always is. Every person here made us feel like, just like this was our hometown, and this was the place we needed to be. So until next time, with Legends of Outdoors TV from Real Foot Lake, Abby Joe and Gary, we'll see you on the next episode. This episode was brought to you in part by Hybrid Light. Durable, environmentally friendly, and guaranteed for life. Visit hybridlight.com. And Sheffield Financial, specialized equipment financing for work, play, and everything in between. Visit sheffieldfinancial.com.